What a beautiful day. We are at the Goodwill down the street from our house. One of our favorite Goodwills. We haven't been in the Goodwills for probably two weeks now after that one video I posted that we're not going to be in here a whole bunch, but let's go see when we find a flip online line for a profit. It looks like lounge fly. I know. I thought that's what it was. Oh. Uh, plus Ultra. Mm. It's called My Academy Hero. My Academy Hero. Get a little picture of it. Listed for 60. Let's see if it sells though. Listed for 35. It's probably seven, yeah, six ninety-nine here. It's in good condition though. I say it's like anime or something. I don't know much about that. This is the biggest Sony thing ever. Uh, Pre-owned, BioWorld, sold for 55 bucks. They must have undersold it. They undersold it. There you go. Good job. What'd you find? I found two cases of four pressed flower glass coasters. How pretty is that? Look at these. That is pretty. They're just pressed flowers. I'm impressed. Impressed? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get those. Hey, look how much they sell on their dogs for. Oh wow, seven bucks. Some old dogs. Dogs have seen better days. The mother and daughter did not go that well for us. The mother and son was off the charts. Definitely. It cost you forty bucks to find out. They got a lot of big beads in there. Look at these. These things are and that, huge. And like that's not even that good. Yeah, they're actually finished in 24 karat gold and rhodium. That's the stuff I think in catalytic converters that's worth so much money. But I think I've looked beacons up, yeah. Beacon ornament, 36 bucks, 18, 71. I'll actually look up the Beacon ornament. This one's pretty too. It's the same brand. Mm -hmm. Beacon Design Ornaments. Uh, 12 bucks. They want 2 bucks for them. I'd like to get them for 99 cents. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Yeah, because we've sold this one before. The Star. But look how um, some of these, I guarantee some of these are super expensive. 30 bucks for the uh, turtle. The turtle. Yep, 20 bucks for. I don't even see the hummingbird. But they're probably a good buy for. How much are they? $1.99 each? Yep. This one went for 100 bucks. The ship. Can you see the ship anywhere? No? Should we already turn into Team Cart? Probably. Probably. One day I want to come in here and find a master's belt. Actually, that's on my bucket list to find. I've never found a master's belt before. That's worth money. There's ones that are knit that are worth a ton of money. But every time I come in here, I've been in here for years and years. I come in here and look at the belts. Nothing. I got more ties than this in my garage right now. Um, Always up in the purse place. We actually found a couple good purses the other day here. You can just tell if they're real leather or not. There's a Samantha Brown. Look, seven bucks though. We sold a lot of her uh, luggage before. It went very, very well. Actually sold out, I think, within a month. Premium accessory for active lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Sure you are. $7.99. What are they doing? Why? Why would you do that? Yeah, there's a new pouch right there. Nylon. Interesting. They have some in the case and some out here. Might as well look it up. Looks... 30 bucks. Oh, that's Lululemon. 
Okay, so they like knocked the Lululemon off. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Is that brass? No. Could be. I don't know what that is. It's actually sharp. Is it coal? Yeah, a lot of these are made out of coal. Kay's collection. I don't think that's coal. I think somebody just painted them black. It's odd. Are oh, y'all seeing anything? Is that a caboodle? Can I spot a caboodle? No. It is a caboodle. Mm-hmm. It's empty. Actually, I don't know. It might be full. No. Heavily, heavily used on the inside. What is this? A Snapple game? Hey, hey, Mopar. Since we're part of the Mopar family. Mopar no car. Hmm. They got some nice old jackets. I'm going to look them up. Sometimes uh, workplace uniforms sell very well. You can't sell like USPS or UPS or anything, but I don't think Audi would be a... Consider that. That's a nice little jacket, man. They have the best cashiers. They are just on point. So Audi stuff, um, I mean, you just get cheaper here. Like, but if you found any yard stuff for a dollar, I'd probably pick them up for a dollar. But they're seven bucks here. But check it out, some of them actually sell very high. Like that one's over 40 bucks. That's brand new. Yeah, brand new. That's what I'm saying. Huh. $27 pre-owned. Hmm. But that, that was the rainbow one that didn't have the little logo on the outside. Mm -hmm. That one sold brand new for 25 So you can't really get them for seven bucks. You gotta get them for like a dollar or two. But I didn't know that. I just don't know, because we were not we've it's been a couple weeks since we've been in here, and I know these have been in here for six months. So, what is that thing up there? That's a big old, uh... Cooker. Cooker there. I'll put you in there. <laughs> Let's screw your tanning bed. Oh my goodness. What? I can make a little tanning bed for you. Press it, take it, yum. I don't know about that. It must help you, um, actually some of this stuff. That's actually pretty. Definitely a little wanky. Now I think it's supposed to look like that. Unless it bent. Hold on. Did it bend? Yeah. Where did it bend at? Oh, the bottom, yeah. I think. I could bend that out. No. Yeah. No. I could do it. What is the squat? Here, take take this for a test drive real quick. See what you're working with. I think why I wanna know why it's lean so hard. Some of these work out like little I don't even know what to call them, like specialty type of things. It can be worth some decent money. Squat magic. Oh, it's supposed to lean. 60 bucks. But the shipping list is only $3.99. I'm telling you right now, that's gonna cost like, considerably more than that. And you always wanna look at that, like how much things are listed for, and then also what the shipping is. I mean, they actually do sell, they want 10 bucks for it, but like some of them sold $64.99, which would be a good deal for that. I mean, if you bought it and sold it. Then you start going down the list, 29 for 31 shipping, 54 free shipping, 32, 35. Looks like they're they're really around 35. So you would only make, that was, that was 39 with $10 shipping. That's gonna cost way more than 10 bucks. So I think that's gonna be a no-go. What do you have here? For sixty bucks. I'm not getting on that thing. That thing looks dangerous. It wants fifty nine ninety nine for it. We are out at the Goodwill down the street from our house. It's actually early. I think it's like nine fifty. And they already opened the doors, which is very, very nice. There's only one other person in here. Go see when we find a flip line for a profit. Cooler engines. Coleman. It's probably a uh, what they did. For some sort of like advertisement i might have to take a picture of that because any type of advertisement that's that cadillac fanny pack rare you know how i like rare rare coolers biggest thing biggest thing is does it sell thinking that they probably don't sell negative see sell through rail that is zero check that thing out hockey 
sports games, hockey. Was somebody putting a GoPro on this and looking at their GoPro? It's very heavy, actually. Oh, my day is made. I found dinosaurs. That's pretty good. Three bucks. It comes with spider eggs. Comes with spider eggs. Oh yeah. Fry them things up and eat them later on. You know? Old Betty didn't want the uh didn't want her pure foot and calf spa. Hmm. Let's see what it was sent to. Alright. I'm not I'm not gonna get this skirt. This is actually a Actually, I don't know what this is. Does it look like a gym shore? It's not. This has it's a, coming out of it. Oh my goodness. Bad is. Uh, bags. <laughs> the Bose Acoustic. This is a big subwoofer up here. Um, somebody turned it around because they're running the code on it. They want 40 bucks for it. These things aren't worth anything. Uh, they're one, they're too hard to ship, or they're too expensive to ship for what they're worth, and they're worth about 10 bucks. Uh, they got it for $40 here, so don't, just because it has this name on it, doesn't mean it's worth a whole bunch of money. This one itself is not worth hardly anything. Alright, at a good, at a yard sale, you could have got it for 50 cents. Where did your wheel price at? Six bucks. Went up. Slightly. First Goodwill actually had absolutely nothing. Second Goodwill, check out the uh, the parking lot here. Not anybody here. Maybe they know there's nothing inside, but maybe there's a whole bunch inside. Let's go and see if we can find a flip line for a pro. It's like a kettlebell. I'm guessing that you would unlock it or lock it somehow. And it becomes a two and a half. Unlock. It might have to be on the ground. There you go. And then this will probably come out somehow. I don't know what is going on with this thing. I would think that you could change the weight on it or something. But groom. Bride and groom. Mm-hmm. You think those would sell? This one's got a big stain on it. I know, you could get that out. Baby girl, we both know we're not getting stains out. <laughs> is this a real Michael Kors? Yeah, but it's rough. Like real rough. Look at the Oh yeah, the handles are all messed up. Seven bucks, real Michael I think that's Kors. Cute. Yeah, buy the thing is, is that we both know that we don't get stains out. That's one thing as resellers that we do. That's a Friday, Friday night, night at Freddy's. Yeah. yeah. One thing as resellers, we always say, oh, we'll get that stain out. Nope. It gets, it gets put in a box somewhere. The next thing you know, the stain is still there a, a year later. So now we don't pick up anything with stains. Unless it's worth a million dollars. If it's worth a million, I'll get the stain out. Bags actually sell pretty good well for us if they're the right type of bag. That's the thing. It's got to be... Man, they got a lot of bags here. They got tons of bags. What is this one? STX. That's a shoe bag, I think, for golf, possibly. Uh, it's a Fortnite. Fortnite book bag? What is this one? This one feels like leather. No not leather hmm it's a linux but it's tails broke oh no that's a pretty yeah look how pretty that is it's super pretty ain't got Man. ain't got a tail that's a shame. sos that's how i feel right now at the goodwill send help <laughs> send help here you go i feel like you need this in your life here no oh, i don't want to touch it <laughs> You just hit yourself with it? What is it's it? It's a gourd. That looks like a gourd. These are actually worth uh, some money. The Craftsman Dust Buster Easy Empty Bag. It doesn't have the uh, the frame to it. They want four bucks for it. If it had the frame, they actually go for, I think, 30 or 40 bucks. Um, a lot of people rip these and stuff when they're out mowing. So they're always a, uh, usually a good pickup. Kind of the wrong season because let's be honest around here now ain't nobody mowing no grass grass is dying it's becoming the fall but somewhere in america people are still mowing grass i guarantee you that mirror mirror on the wall ears broken. ears broken this is what we got folks broken cats he looks sad is he a head cover or is he a I think 
If that's a head cover, that's probably worth money. Um, toys handcrafted in China. Not a toy. It's a head cover. Is it? No. Oh. Yeah. Dauphin's head cover. Oh, yeah. He's worth money. Yeah. Guarantee you. Oh, <laughs> ew. <laughs> that was rude. Yeah, I guarantee this guy's at least worth a million dollars. Yeah, people like head covers that are animals. So do I. If I was a golfer, oh, I, yeah. I was a golfer at one point, but I was poor and couldn't afford head covers, so none of my stuff yet. 25 bucks, easy. Yeah. He didn't have a price on him though, so it'll probably be 199. Be yeah, plushies. Plushies. All right, we've got an alligator. Yeah. See, I told y'all with yeah. with positive thinking, you will find alligators. Or this baby that's staring at me. What are you doing back there, buddy? This is a vase. Huh. It's got a hole in the bottom. That or a really weird salt and pepper shaker. Just <laughs> everything kind of flows out of it. So cost of goods, only two doll hairs on Mr. Alligator here. Um, these will probably sell for probably about 20 bucks. We always sell these really, really well. Might go on our what night show. I might actually go on our eBay, uh, but not a bad thing. So on to another thrift store. And then I think we're gonna hit the booth. So you just found this. This is the Baby Jukebox 1884. Uh, it's three bucks here. It's in really rough condition. Actually, the black ones are listed as high as $85. And this one sold last one for $15 plus shipping. So that ain't terrible. I mean, we're scraping at the bottom here, but that ain't too shabby. This clock is, oh, it's all broken. <laughs> yeah. Sky scam atomic clock. But it's one of its hands are broken. Do you think it would be worth money if it wasn't? I'm going to say probably not. It's sky scam. They begin with an, they begin with an F. Um, Fawn. Fondue. Fondue. Should have a little, little spider on it. Yep, that's it. $19.99. There's like the little spider guy. I can probably take a picture of them. I don't think they're worth a ton of money. Certain ones are. Um, Fontaine? Yep, that's it. Yep. Um, it should say, it should. It's got like a whole. Well, let me. It's like a ladder. Um, these have little spiders. Yeah, that's it. It says it right there. Fontaine Heirloom Collection. Again, some are worth some decent money, but a lot of them are not. All depends on which one you get. She's supposed to be holding a baby. The the baby's, baby's gone. This is the animal shelter, I'm pretty sure. That's what it's called. It's also broken. See all the tips right here? are broken off. Uh, but if you had the whole thing, it's listed for one, 112 or something, 119. But this one's all broken up. But they, a lot of them can go for decent money, just not that one. We are out of the booth at the Bounty Hunters Emporium. And boy, do we have a lot of people that have stopped by. Steve and Sherry, Kenneth and Angela, Kay. I can't read your handwriting here. I think it's going to be something Lee from Somerville. Um, I'm so sorry. You stopped by on September 27th. Cindy and Shauna, Valerie and Anthony, Mark Christie from, I think, from Tennessee. Thanks for stopping by. Then we had Amy, Russ, and Polly from RP Pickens. Sam, Robert, and Dorothy, Nathan and Kaylin. Then we had Mustang 1972 stop by. Then you got Charles, Pam, and Izzy. Gabby, Cat, and Tori, we do appreciate it. See if we have any things in here. We did have a duck in here. Thank you for somebody uh, giving us that. We actually removed that on the uh, other channel that we have, the Flip Squad. We have a couple very nice letters in here. We do appreciate y'all stopping by and giving us letters and also supporting the booth. The booth, uh, we don't really give a whole bunch of updates on this uh, channel about this. We have the other channel called the Flip Squad where we do a lot of different uh, you know, stuff about the booth and we love it it's doing absolutely fine we it's a lot of work obviously every day we put every week i wouldn't say every day right no. not every day but every week we put new items in here and actually we sell a good bit it is friday it is not really yard sale day for some reason there's not a lot of yard sales today there is one we're gonna go hit that one and then we're gonna go hit some uh thrift stores there's a rosy thing hey look there's more uh, jeep parts hey these are um Rock sliders. 
Yeah, but I think it's for... Another GP. Um... Your Jeep did this come off of? 2020. Oh, so it would. Did they also come off of a 2020? The rock sliders? Yeah. yeah. They yeah, did? came off that black Jeep across over there. Ah. Yeah, I got people up here. Yeah, they would fit yours. Yeah. No, you're good. Yeah, that's, that's a heck of a deal. I know. That yeah. The, the table? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, that's a good deal. For sure. Yeah, it's going to be the same thing. Yeah, that's a good deal. For sure. Now, you know these aren't like steps, they're just rock sliders in case you hit like a rock, right? Yeah, those are just guards. They're yeah. Steps. Oh. You know, if you ever go off roading, no, go they'll just look a little bit. They'll look like a little black line under it. They're nice to have. Yeah. So what? No, no, they're um. Oh, these are the lights that go. Hey, I've got so many Jeep parts lately. It's pretty nice. This is different than the bumper we just picked up. We're gonna buy that. Cause I can take that apart. Those two. We'll go ahead and um, we're gonna buy your front bumper for the oh, Jeep. Yep. Okay. And then also these two lights. Are they, you selling the pair for 20? Yep. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take those too. Thank you. Take this off. 25 bucks. On yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. good I've got four of those and then the last company I worked for gave me a bunch of them. Yeah. So I'm just like, <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need six, seven nailers. Right. <laughs> I'll buy this too. Anything over here? These are food buddies. I don't know what a boo buddy is. It's a steel snow baby, but. Ooh, but it's a boo baby. Snow buddies. Huh, they're pretty cute. What's the other one? Oh, the other one. Super cute. These rock sliders are alrighty. It's got eight. I, I give you a bag. All we no, have that's okay. We just bags. throw it in the truck. <laughs> um, just I think it's 85, right? We got 30, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. Okay. Just recount that for Alrighty. me. Make sure we're counting correctly. 38. 38? Sure. I wonder if we give us 30. <laughs> Take for 38 books, all the money in our wallet. Gone. We're gonna buy those. The yeah, we just couldn't leave them behind. <laughs> I was like, we can't do it. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh. Hey. <laughs> They're always in the road. Always in the road. After a good yard sale with a whole bunch of Jeep parts, I'm telling you, them Jeep parts, we've been finding them more and more, which I'm not complaining about because they sell very, very well. Uh, usually just for the older Jeeps, but all Jeep parts, if you can get them cheap enough, usually do sell. But it's going to Goodwill to see if we can find a flip online for a profit. So these golf shoes are actually really good looking if you just look at them. But think about golf shoes, a lot of people wear them obviously out golfing, it's wet outside. And make sure you bend them because this one right here, as you can tell, it is literally falling apart it's all dry rotted so just make sure you check your shoes really well because they look good they would sell by for 30 or 40 bucks but once you do that twist test they're actually the body of the shoes coming away from the sole just always make sure you do that soon they should be putting out a ton more uh christmas items last year they would put out a whole bunch of christmas items in like big lots which was pretty nice who is this with the old salt and pepper shakers 2.99 it was at old time pottery $5.99. It's not really a good deal, to be quite honest with you. I have a... Oh, I thought this was a Dyson. This is a... What is this? Not a Dyson. It's a Kenmore. 
I thought they made uh, dryers and washers. Victorian rose. See, they're just they're too expensive. When you go to the yard sale and pick them up for, you know, a couple bucks, that's what you got to do. It almost looks like a Jim Shore. Nantucket. Huh. It's not wood. It's like resin. If it was wood, it'd be pretty cool. Toya gear. They have like, see all of them over there? Oh, yeah. Gosh, but they're eight dollars. Would that be where you would clean your? What does this remind you of? Oh, easy um, uh, Oregon Trail. <laughs> I died of a snake bite all the time. I was thinking Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> oh no, no. Oregon Trail, yeah. Oregon that Trail. Works. Toya Guard cleaner, Toya Guard. $13 OEM protecting. Okay. Four piece, 13 bucks. $7.99. You can buy it online for the same exact price. Right there, $7.99. For the detailer. Reverse weave. These old uh oh that's not even old. Man, you find the right reverse weave champion college sweater. It's like a hundred to four, four or five hundred bucks. We've had me start wearing sweater vests. That is? Yeah. I mean, if you want to. You think I would look good in a sweater vest? Yeah. I hmm? think you would look good in Oh, yeah. Everybody knows you're lying. Oh, is that a Louis Vuitton? Everybody saw it. No. Not Louis. I saw it on Facebook where somebody actually did find a Louis Vuitton, a real one. In a yeah, goodwill. Is that Swiss one? Yeah. Bison. Hmm. We've never found a really good Squishmallow ever, like over 20 bucks. We have sold a couple on whatnot for pretty high, but we like to sell them new. But I always take a, there's a Squishmallow. Did you know this, that the Black Cat Squishmallow is, yeah, uh, his eyes are closed. It's always a good pickup if you can find them. Let's see what this guy's worth. 23.40. Okay, wait a second, y'all. I might have just, this guy's actually a good one. Check it out. It's like a $30 Squishmallow. Dang. Yeah, that's the highest, I mean the most expensive one we've ever found. Hmm. He's in good shape too. Yeah. His name is Billy the Bison. I lied to you. His name's really not Billy. It's Donkey. Donkey? I like your Yeah, I like Billy better, honestly. Oh, you need more flower pots. Yes, I do. Yeah. Flower pots. This one has a hole. You need ones with holes. I do. And this is pretty. This uh, is pretty th color. Seriously though, that's just creepy. <laughs> right? I don't care who you are. Is it supposed to? No. Somebody just put that in there. Oh. It's supposed to lay like that. Probably in like a. Nah, we're putting it back. <laughs> <laughs> People got jokes of the Goodwill. I like it. I like their jokes. Oh my goodness. Y'all see that? I just bought one of those. Gr a ram? <laughs> <laughs> Grab life by the horns. Mopar, no car. No car to Mopar. What, what was the saying back in the day? That's, it doesn't uh, have a hole in it. Do you think you can put a hole in that? I can put a hole in anything. No, because there's some pots that I have and you're like, I can't put a hole in I don't have the right bit. That's you, what I'm saying. Why are you, you calling me out, bro? <laughs> <laughs> do you can you yes you have the right bit for that we might have to go to the store and buy the right bit i couldn't get through the glazing this stuff is ridiculous all right these were in here the other day and i didn't scan them and i am going to scan this one because i want to know why they're did they scan it you guys are good luck we just sold a sweater for 49.73 that's good let's go ahead and scan this guy usually it doesn't work you gotta hit the back button 17 bucks well five bucks i mean if you made five dollars a piece yeah none i've ever sold put that boy back repairs and restoration established this is not old complies to california atcm 93120 if anybody was wondering does it comply it's got tape on the painter's tape is that in does that comply with California laws? Probably not. Donkey. <laughs> Did you see what these are? 
That's a, that's a huge... Well, that pepper. would be, I'm sure, like for seasoning for a burger. There's probably for seasoning burger, for... A hot dog. I don't know seasoning if you put... Seasoning for a... Watermelon. Watermelon. What do you put on a hot dog that would be seasoning? What's hot dogs made out of? We don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Nobody knows. This is a decent Revere wear, um, but it's in really bad condition. These can sell. I mean, they want seven bucks for it. There's, there's no profit left in that. But if you get them for like a buck at a yard sale, these are usually a good pickup. So you usually go for 20 copper bottom guys. Um, this looks like a solid master lid, and it is. This is actually pretty nice. Uh, has, where's the pot? You usually can tell a solid master lid because the way that it is, it says solid master on it. Um, a lot of times you can actually just sell the this part right here for 10 bucks. But the lid itself would probably go for 15 or so, so that's good. And everybody waved yourself in the very... That is probably not Salamaster. Wow, you really just flipped that over. Yeah, it's taped. It is taped. This looks like another Salamaster. See? But it's not... It's a fake. Yeah, the pot isn't. I just want the lid. Yeah, that's not a salad master. Yeah, that isn't. Um, yeah, it's a it's a salad imposter. <laughs> I don't know, but still, this this is only uh, three bucks though. The lid itself is going to go for more than three dollars. The lid could probably go for ten. Then I have a pot. Man, these see these are nice because they have the vents on them. A lot of times the vents are missing. So it ups the value a little bit. There's salad master right there. Where? That one. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Yep, it is. Four oh, bucks. Gosh. Yeah. You can always tell them because of that back little thing. So now it's like a. Now it's a treasure, a treasure hunt. That's what the whole thing is. It's one big treasure hunt, you know? And this lid probably goes not on that. So that good, that works well. Um, do you see any more? That's a copper bottom Revere wear. <laughs> Did you laugh because I was right? <laughs> I can spot them from a mile away. You know your pots. I know my pots, man. I can, I can spot a pot. It's so funny because if we miss these, people also can spot these a mile away. If you know what you're looking for when it comes to Salad Master, um, they have a very unique look to them. I think that's all of them, mm -hmm. but that ain't too shabby right there. That's a uh, This plus donkey. You Man. got your pots and I got mine. You signed by an impractical joker This sure looks like it don't it because that's definitely a signature this, What's their names? I know there's Sal There's Sal, Brian that would be Brian, right? And Quinn. Check us out. All right. So I would bet almost all my money in my wallet, which is actually 52 cents, that that's his signature right there. Hands down. Yeah. See it? And then the other guy's signature I don't see. Okay, this is all of their signature. That looks just like that. Yep. So that is his signature. Sal. So they got him, which is his, and his, but they don't have his. Remember, what was what was he doing when he was running to the uh, front? Um, what was the guy's name? He was screaming. Um, um, not Richard. Larry. 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 Oh, this is a funny show. This will make you laugh. Yeah, Sal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But they didn't get his. No. Right, but that's only two, but I mean, I don't know how you could authenticate it. We could put like sign Murray. question mark. Murray, yep, they didn't get his. I Because the show's not on anymore. You know, I mean, look at some of their stuff. All their signatures went for $400. Um, they have cards. They actually have like Impractical Joker cards. Baseball signed. Poster signed for 60. Yeah, that's really, really neat. The lighting is... Well, y'all should see this in like extra 8K from the lighting. There's a ton of these. February. I think that 
that is. 2016. Must be a set or something. Warcraft. Loot pin. Or they got it out of like a box. You know? Loot crate. That's what it is. Yeah, that's a like a subscription box, I think. And these must be the the things that go in the boxes. Even having the Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. This has all your stuff. You have a dog that looks like this, right? <laughs> you wear pink hair bows. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You love dogs. Look, you own a Jeep right here. So you're clicking off two here. You like turtles. What? This is your life. You like <laughs> turtles, right? I you're, play basketball. You're tall enough to play basketball. <laughs> See? That's, that is, that's it. These right here are some nice Timberlands. The noise in the background is somebody making something. Uh, 400 grand. That's pretty good. Timberland, genuine leather, in super good condition. I see nothing wrong with these, just a little wear on the outside. Uh, here they'd be 699. They should go probably for 75 bucks. So it was real hard to hear in there because they were building shelves. It's probably hard to hear out here because it is windy, but these are Timberlands. They're actually really good. They're like um, 400 gram leather. Very, very nice, very little wear. Just gotta clean them up a little bit. These are easy $75 boots out of the Salvation Army and Caleb was just saying there's so many cars in the parking lot. And there is, there's a ton of cars in the parking lot and it's because it's 99 cent day. A lot of times we're not here on Fridays because we're out yard sailing and literally there was only one yard sale today. But we're gonna go in here and see what we can find for 99 cents. 49 cent day green tags. Is that all green tags? Oh, we got golf clubs for $1.99. I've never seen this wedge before. Oh, power bill. Yeah, that's not not super good but this lady cobra probably is cxi ladies flex it's probably pretty nice forage power launch oh it's got a training grip on it that's weird that's a training grip so that's someone was training with this one really it takes the retail out of it because a lot of people don't want that for training they have to switch the grip Hey babe, so if it's 40, if it's a green tag, so those antlers were 49 cents? Really? We might start coming here on 49 cent day. I got me a candle. candle for 49, 49 cents? Cent? Yeah. I think we, we've really been slacking on the 49 cent thing. Honestly, y'all. Yeah, 30 bucks. So we'll only get, it looks like probably the wedges because the other ones don't really sell. It's not a full set. If it was a full set, maybe, but um, that's a weird one. It's like a four and a five. This is power built. The wedge looks good. 14 bucks, yeah. Even if it sells for 14 it, on, a, on a regular basis, that wouldn't be terrible. 19, 14. Yeah, that actually sells a good bit. If it was only green tag. Well, it would be 49, 49 cents every Friday for, for a different tag. I don't know. Yeah, I would think. The antlers were right here, everybody. They were 50 bucks. Because they were 50% off yesterday, two days ago. Yeah. That's so funny. Out at one of our storage units, and we're gonna go ahead and throw the bumpers in here because I'm not gonna have enough time to actually list those today. The thing is, if you guys want to know how we get rid of all this stuff, where we sell all this stuff at, um, follow us on our other channel called The Flip Squad. It is linked down below in the description, and you'll you can see a whole bunch of what we do on there. It's our day-to-day -day life of being resellers and youtubers so if you want to know uh, you know see i know a lot of people get a lot of questions well how do you do this what box do you use how do you do your taxes all those questions are addressed in videos on that channel again it's called the flip squad remember we do have the website with tons of merch on it that is the beard i do appreciate everybody watching remember if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video you know i will always get you on the next one